What's up? It's your girl at Tiffany M. Draper, and today is June the 26th, 2019, and unfortunately, Beth Chapman, the wife of Dog the Bounty Hunter, is gone, dead at 51, and that is such a shame that she had to lose her life to something that they have a cure for, and that's cancer. But you know, it's more money in the treatment than it is the cure. Um... I say it like this. If Magic Johnson could have, he bought his cure, right? How come these celebrities that have all this money can't buy their, you know, buy their cure? And, you know, I was thinking, if I was a celebrity that had all this money, I'd feel guilty buying my cure. And then you got all the other people still struggling, Losing their relatives to cancer. Losing their own lives to cancer. I feel guilty that I I had enough money to buy my cure, but I had to keep it secret from the general public. You know they got it. That's what makes me mad when you got all these nonprofit organizations and all these quote-unquote research facilities that people donate their money to when they have a cure for cancer. Dr. C.B., Dr. C.B. Savy, whatever you want to call him, won against Big Pharma, the FDA, all them. A lawsuit because he claimed he had the cure for AIDS and he won, y'all, when the government tried to sue him. Because all these people came in and and proved that he cured their AIDS. And he, he told us how to cure cancer and he cured himself from diabetes. They get rid of people like that. You mean to tell me that that man, even though he was old, he died over petty stuff? No, he had the cure, y'all. He was the plug for the cure. That's why they got rid of him. Y'all, just want to say rest in peace to Beth Chapman. Let me know y'all thoughts in the comment section about cancer have you lost a loved one to cancer do you know someone currently dealing with cancer it's, it's gotten to the point to where when people say that somebody is sick or that somebody died you just automatically assume cancer because all the stuff they're putting in the water think about flint the water that they knew was killing those people making them sick they they allowed that to happen the food everything they got to the point to where they want to even Lock you up or arrest you or fine you for trying to grow your own food in your own or your own land or in your backyard. They don't want you having food that doesn't have pesticides and GMO and all of that. Why? Because you won't be sick. And there's money in the treatment. They don't want to cure you. They want to keep you coming back. This is sad, y'all. And you know what? These doctors... They should be ashamed of themselves. You took an oath to save lives. But yet all you do is treat people, treat the symptoms and not get rid of the underlining root cause of an illness. Some of y'all know this on purpose. Some of y'all even prescribe medications that you know will either make a situation or a symptom or a disease worse or create new problems. Some of y'all do it unknowingly but the majority of y'all know this that some sometimes the side effects are worse than the actual illness that you're trying to treat then you got the people who say well you know they don't want to do chemotherapy they want to do it the holistic way and i commend people for that rest in peace i don't want to go on no more rants and go off on tangents. I just hate to see a life cut short. When it comes to 51, that's young. When it comes to dying. It's your grad Tiffany Draper. Rest in peace. Beautiful lady.